Hey everybody, today we in the foundation series are going to learn a sun A, sun salutation A, or Surya Namaskar A. Uh, I don't have any props. If you use them regularly or want to have a couple nearby, you can pause the video and get those ready. Otherwise, we're going to get started. So instead of jumping straight into this, we're going to break it down a little bit by learning plank pose first. So let's get down on our mats. And plank pose, uh, I'm going to show you some, a few options for plank pose so that you don't have to uh, think, you know, it's plank or nothing. Uh, there's half plank and there's tabletop. So that if you're in a class and you need to uh, do something else for a few poses or, uh, or uh, whoop, for the whole class, you know what to do. So first off, we can try half plank pose. This is a great place to start. And uh, if you're just beginning in yoga, which you probably are if you're watching this series, I really, really think it, this is the better place to start is a half plank pose. And you just kind of get the feel for what plank pose is going to be like when you build up all the strength that you need to be holding your plank pose, especially once you add in movement, once you add in the vinyasas. So I've got my knees together in this plank pose and I also have my heels drawing in towards each other. My heels are pressing in towards each other. My fingertips are, my fingers are spread nice and wide on the mats with my elbows, the eyes of my elbows facing forward. So we talked about that in the downward facing dog video. And the point is, you know, getting that nice rotation in the shoulders. So if this is really intense for you, um, then you can always uh, stay in tabletop. We're drawing belly button in to spine. And here is something that is really important that I almost never hear talked about in yoga classes, which is that you really need to puff up through the space in the upper back between the shoulder blades. So if you look closely at the video, you might be able to see what I'm doing here. Instead of like sinking in, letting the chest fall down towards the earth, and kind of hanging out in the shoulders here, you really want to strengthen the body by pushing up, really, really pushing up. And this is super key. And if you can't uh, hold this for very long, this is something to be practicing for sure as you build your yoga practice. So again, you can just be in tabletop here. Um, still draw the belly button up to the spine, still have your fingers spread nice and wide. And you know the drill by now. The wrists are under shoulders and the knees are under hips. All right, so uh, let's talk about plank pose. So I'm going to step my feet back. Here is my plank pose. I've got my toes together, but you can also have feet hip distance apart. But either way, you want to not let the the heels fall out towards the sides of the mat. You want to draw the heels in. If your toes are together, you can press heels, touch heels uh, together. Belly button drawing up to spine and I'm puffing up in the space between my shoulder blades. Good, nice foundation in the hands. And that is plank pose. Now let's talk about vinyasa. You don't have to hold this plank pose. You can, you can let that go. Um, vinyasa so that's when we flow and we move from one pose to another we uh we have a couple of options there too so if you are in tabletop for your vinyasa you can simply move through cats and cows and you know how to do that by now you know connect breath and movement inhale drop the belly for cow pose and exhale round the spine for cat pose so that's one option Option two, if you are in half plank pose, which is a great place to be, you can bend the elbows. We wanna keep the elbows tucked into the sides as we bend the elbows and lower all the way down to the belly. And then we'll move through a back bend. Again, my heels are together. They're not moving out, splaying out to the sides of the mat. 
But as you back bend, you can move into a little baby cobra, maybe a little further. Good, even Sphinx pose, Sphinx pose would work here. Good, and then you would press yourself back up. And from there, move, we would move uh, into the next step in this, in this sun salutation. If you are in plank pose, you can do that too. You can lower all the way down to the belly and press up into your version of a back bend. Baby cobra, cobra pose, sphinx pose, um, make it your own, you know. Uh, the traditional uh, back bends starts in, we start in plank pose. And then we move through chaturanga. We're going to lower into lower into a low plank pose by bending the elbows and keeping the elbows in by the sides. So I'll lower halfway and then roll over the toes into upward facing dog. Remember that the heels are not splaying out to the sides, but staying nice and in line, heels rolling in towards each other. And then I would roll back over the toes and move uh, to the next step in the sun salutation. So remember what I said about puffing up in the space between the shoulder blades and the upper back. So you can practice that without being in plank by simply protracting and retracting the shoulder blades like this. This is protract and retract. So what we're doing is we want to protract the, I think I've got that backwards, I'm not really sure. Anyway, we want to, <laughs> we want to be moving the shoulder blades along the side of the body like this, so that we've got this nice wide space in the upper back. Um, let's move into plank pose, and I will talk about that a little bit more. So in plank pose, puffing up in that space between the upper back, and I want to be able to keep that that way as I lower. So I'm not sinking down as I lower, but I'm staying strong and staying puffed up in the space between the shoulder blades. That's the same for half plank pose. And if you can't move through your chaturanga while holding that, you should probably uh, reel it in and stick to half plank pose as you build up strength. So once again, We'll lower halfway, chaturanga, and back bend. And there we go. All right, so let's start to incorporate that into a sun A. So we'll come to standing at the top of the mat. And let's pause for a minute here. We'll bring our arms down by the sides as the heart space opens. Feet can be hip distance apart or feet together with the toes touching, a little space between the heels. And let the eyes gently close. The pelvis is in a nice neutral space and the belly button pinned to the spine. Make sure you're not rounding the shoulders forward but the spine is nice and tall as you open the heart space, chest grows wide, standing up nice and tall with the head resting easily at the top of the spine. Good. Now let's just gently flutter the eyes open. All right, let's move first without the breath cues through a sun A. So first, it's very much like a half sun. We'll, in, we'll reach the arms up. It's very hard to do this without cueing the breath for me. And then we're gonna forward fold. So remember, you're hinging from your hips, bending your knees, especially for this first one, and forward fold. Good. Then we halfway lift. And bring the hands down to the mat as you step it back to your version of plank or tabletop. So plank, half plank, or tabletop. Now remember how we learned all these different modifications that you can do. So you could be in tabletop moving through cats and cows, or you could be in half plank. You can lower halfway or all the way down. 
and then back bend. From there, we make our way to downward facing dogs. So if you're an upward facing dog like me, you're rolling over the toes to come into your down dog. If down dog is not for you, you can just stick to tabletop. But traditionally, we take five breaths here in downward facing dog. But we're gonna go ahead and move forward, step or hop up the top of your mat and halfway lift. And then forward fold. Remember, you can always bend your knees. Then sweep the arms up as you come to standing and back to neutral standing pose with the arms by the sides. All right, great. So let's do that one more time because it takes a few times to really get the hang of it. And then later we'll add the breath. So reach up. You can look up if you want, that's traditional. And then we'll bend the knees, hinge from the hips to forward fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, step it back to your version of plank, half plank, or tabletop. Lower and back bend. And downward facing dog. Good. Let's just keep going. Step up to the top of the mat. You can hop if that feels nice. And lower into your forward fold. Sweep the arms all the way up and come to neutral standing. Perfect. So now that we have moved through that and learned the motions, we're going to add the breath. All right, you ready? Come to your neutral standing position. Arms by the sides, palms face forward. Inhale to sweep the arms up and exhale to forward fold, bending the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hands calm down, step it back to your version of plank. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way and inhale to back bend. And exhale, we come back to downward facing dog. Let's keep going. Step it forward, inhale, halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, whoop, and exhale, back to neutral standing. All right, let's do that one more time, going straight into it. Inhale, reach all the way up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, step it back, and lower. Inhale, back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's take five breaths here. Inhale, and exhale. That's one. Inhale, and exhale. That's two. Inhale, and exhale. Three. Inhale, and exhale. Four. Last time, inhale, and exhale, five. On your inhale, step or hop it forward and halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And let's keep going. Last time, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step it back. And lower all the way, sorry. Lower and inhale to your back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. I keep having a little brain fart there. All right, so let's step it all the way forward as we inhale and halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and exhale, come back to neutral standing. We'll pause here in neutral standing. Letting the breath flow easily in and out the nose. Tops of the shoulders melting down away from the ears. Standing up nice and straight and tall, heart space open.
And let's just take a cleansing breath. So find a deep breath in through the nose, open the mouth and exhale, let it go. All right, so my friends, that is a sun salutation A, Surya Namaskar A. Um, and I hope that that made some sense to you. This is a great thing to practice on a daily basis. So whatever modifications you make, doesn't matter. You're still getting all the benefits. Um, keep practicing and I will see you on your mat next time. Namaste.